ladies and gentlemen and programmers, we're going to learn how to code for Arduino Project 1A. All right, so here's what we need to do. We need to download and open the first sketch. Let's see what that's going to look like. That's going to look like this. It's going to look like going over here to the Arduino Robotics Lesson 1. And then here is the code that we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right do the same thing. Right click on this and say open in new tab. And then we're going to come over here. Now we need this whole folder, whole, full, whole thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click on this up here. And you're going to say download. Okay. And so now, come on. You can do it. Do I need to? Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're going to show that in the folder. And so what we're going to do is we are going to unzip it. So it's a zipped folder. So you're going to right click and you're going to go to 7-zip and you're going to say extract here. But um, I've already extracted it here. So, so there's the zipped folder and there's the one that's not zipped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go into my folder with my name on it. I'm going to go into intro to programming and I'm going to go into Arduino Robotics. So if you don't already have that, make a new folder, call it Arduino Robotics inside your Intro to Programming folders. And we're going to paste it in there. Paste, I already did, there it is. Okay, so now you're going to double click on this and you're going to open that thing up. Okay, and that is going to be the code we're going to start off with. Okay, so uh, here it is. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to press Control and the plus symbol, and I'm going to make this a little bit more readable for you. Okay, so here's the code that's going to work with the Arduino. It's going to tell the Arduino what to do. And let's jump back to our spiel here, and we're going to get some instructions. All right, all Arduino switches must have two methods named setup and loop. The Arduino runs these methods automatically. So um, cer certain methods that you know you have to ask them to run, you have to call on them. So like uh, move, so you're... Crab doesn't automatically move. You have to call on it to move. But there is a method that does run automatically, and that's called the ACT method. So just like the ACT method runs automatically in Greenfoot, um, the Arduino has uh, methods that run automatically, and one is called setup, and one's called loop. Okay, so write this down in your own words in your notes. The setup method runs once when the sketch starts. Actually, I'm going to change that. Let's try it. This is what I want you to write instead. I want you to write... It runs once at the beginning. Okay, that's what I want you to write. Um, so you'll use it for things that you need to do first. So it runs right at the beginning or only once. All right, so now we're going to create this setup shell. So let's jump back into our Arduino project and we're going to do the setup shell. Here we go. Nope, that wasn't it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. And so another another name for setup is the constructor because in Greenfoot it's often done for a class so it will construct your object so you're going to build that object construct it and you're going to put it into the world so we're going to call it the constructor and so it's going to look a little something like this so we're going to click right here so do this with me and we're going to say void setup parentheses parentheses and you're going to hit enter oh. I'm going to leave my comment there. So I'm going to go to the end of this. I'm going to hit enter. So this is just a this is just a comment. So this all works right here, and then that becomes a comment. A comment. So I'm going to do my opening bracket. What is happening here? What did I just do? Control Z. I'm going to do my opening curly brace. Enter, enter, and you can see it already did my closing curly brace. Okay. So you have your method signature, and you have your method body. So that's kind of the starting deal, right? We start it, there's no code in here, but that's the shell of it. So let's jump back into the spiel and let's see what we're gonna do here. That's not it. There it is. Okay, so we created the setup shell. Okay, so now let's talk about the thing. So the pin mode, there, we're gonna use a pin mode method. I'm gonna change that to say method, that should be method. Okay, so the pin mode method takes two values which you type in into the parentheses and the parameters after the function name. So the first value is a pin number and the second value is the word input or output. So what does the pin mode method do? Basically, so you guys wired up your pin, your, your little pin to 13, right? 
So you put a little wire to 13, you ran that wire over to your, um, uh, to your uh, LED light, right? And so basically you're gonna tell that, hey, this is an output. So your little Arduino circuit board can take input, like, oh, it can tell like, oh, are the lights on? Are there, is there sound going? Is that button being pressed? So you can do inputs or it can do an output, which is saying, hey, let's send some electricity and turn that LED light. On this, in this case, we're gonna say, hey, I want pin 13 to be output. Okay, so now let's write this code that's gonna allow us to um, get that setup going. Okay, so we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna come over here. Okay, so we're gonna say pin mode. So right here, we're gonna say pin mode, capital M, pin mode. And then here's our parameters in the parentheses. And we're gonna have our semicolon to end the sentence. But the pin mode, we're gonna have two parameters. The first one is, well, what pin do you wanna use? We wanna use pin 13, and we want this one to be O-U-T-P-U-T -U -T output, which is all capitals. Now, so what this basically does is this is the void setup. This is a constructor. It runs right one time at the beginning. So the first thing it does is it runs out of like, oh, hey, before we get started, let's set up that pin mode 13 that, that you're using, and we're going to set it up to output so you can send electricity to the LED light. Okay, let's keep moving here. Okay. So now let's go to the next thing. All right, so there's another loop method that runs over and over again, okay? So the loop method is another special method that runs automatically. And this one doesn't run one time at the beginning. It runs second and it runs over and over and over. It just keeps looping over. So whatever code you put in there is gonna just happen continuously, just like what happens in the act method. So let's go ahead and let's fire that thing up. That's not what I wanted. Let's see if I can get the Arduino up. Okay. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to come down here. So remember, we have to respect the bracket. So we started the setup. We ended the setup. Let's tab this in so that looks a little bit better. Okay. And so then we're going to come down here. We're going to hit enter. And we're going to say void loop. And in the same way, we're going to do parentheses, parentheses. We're going to hit enter. We have our opening bracket, enter, and we have our closing bracket. Okay. So now we have our special, second special method loop. Everything that goes in here is going to run over and over again. And let's talk about next what is going to go in there. So what is going to go in there is a method called digital write is the method we use to make an output pin high or low. It takes two parameters, the pin number followed by the word high or low. Okay, so high, so these are digital. So digital basically means on or off. So high means you're sending the full five volts. So the Arduino works on five volts. So the high is like, we're gonna send the whole five volts and low is off. So it's either on or off like a light switch. Okay, so there's another method we're gonna use called delay. So it pauses for a given amount of time. Um, so the delay method works in milliseconds. Okay, so if you put delay one, it would delay the code for one millisecond. If you put a thousand, that's going to be one second. All right, let's go ahead and create this. But before we create it, let's do a, let's add, let me, let's take some notes here. Okay, so answer these questions. What does the loop method do? The loop method runs over and over. What is the difference between high and low? High is on, low is off, like a light switch. How many seconds is a thousand milliseconds? I'm not telling you. What does the digital write method do? It turns a pin on or off. What does the delay method do? The, the, the delay method is, it works, but it's kind of a lame method in that it shuts everything down. So the whole Arduino board stops for that many seconds. So no code is running, but it pop, makes a little pause. All right, so let's go ahead and create that method. Um, let's take a look at it, what we're gonna do here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, Okay, so we're going to come down into the loop method, and you're going to say, actually, I'm just going to hit pause and type this. You don't have to watch me type. Okay, so I went ahead and I, I wrote it. And by the way, I put the loop right here, and I had actually had already had some um, comments and stuff for you. So I put it within the comments that I had already written. At any rate, okay, so take a look at what it does. So public void, actually, I'm going to put this right here. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. We have our loop from here to here. So everything here goes over and over. So it's gonna turn the LED on. 
It's going to delay it for two seconds. Then it's going to turn it off, wait for two seconds, start back over, turn it on, wait two seconds, turn it off. So what's it going to do? So it's going to make it blink. So once we get this done here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to click on this button right here. To, it says verify. Basically what that does is it compiles the sketch. So it's going to look through it and see if it's good code. So see, in, in this case, it's Arduino code. And so it doesn't give us any error message. That's good. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug my Arduino board all in. And I'm going to go to upload. So once I plug it in, so it's going to upload it. And hopefully there's no, oh, you know what? Before I do that, you know what we need to do? I need to go tools. I need to go to the, the port and I need to find, usually it's the highest number COM port. So no, oftentimes there'll be like different ones. So whatever the highest number is, we switch to that thing. And then we hit the, then we hit that uh, upload button. So it takes that already checked out code and up, uh, uploads it to the Arduino. And so you can see, I don't have it all hooked up like you, but you can see the LED lights blinking. So it's on one thousand, two thousand. So that's what it does. Okay. So now your job is try changing the 2000, the above delay function to different numbers and see how it affects the timing. Okay. So answer that in the code, smaller values will make the loop run faster. Why answer that question? Um, decrease the delay to 10 milliseconds. Can you still see it blink? Find the smallest delay that you can still see a blink. What's that frequency? Answer that in the notes and modify the code above to resemble a heartbeat. So see if you can make it go boom, 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 just like that. Okay. Um, let's go back. I think that's it. Let's take a look at the spiel here and see if we missed anything. Okay. Completed and upload it which is we just did coding challenges. All right, so what does it do? What is the frequency? Uh, okay, so do all these things. And then once you get all that done, um, have me come by and check that off your checklist. And then you're going to go on to the uh, part B. All right, thanks, guys.